French what? Tuck. I don't. I don't think I can do a French tuck. I think I'd look ridiculous if I did a French tuck <laughs> on the show. If I did this, I if I did this, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. The way you look down, you know it doesn't work. Here's the thing. I actually, I'm, I'm really open and vulnerable with you guys. You guys might fuck me up. You might give me some advice that screws me over, and I'm like, oh, he said it. All right, cool. Tonight. I want to talk about policing. And everyone's like, I can't take this guy seriously. He's got this whole tuck situation. In the age of social media, how much influence do you think celebrities have on young or even older voters? Uh, this is from Caitlin. Is Caitlin here? Hi. What do you think? How much, how much influence do you think they have? I mean, I think definitely on younger voters. I think at this point, there's a lot of influence. Yeah. Like, I know, like, I've seen, like, people like Billie Eilish often are very, like, she's very vocal with her fans about getting involved and, like, what they should. Yeah. Involved. So you're optimistic? I want to be. I'm, I'm pretty, you know when I, when I kind of lost a little bit of hope in the celebrity endorsement? Because I grew up when, like, Puffy was like, rock the vote. And I'm like, oh, Puff Daddy said I got a vote, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but remember in 2016, Hillary was in Ohio, and she had... Jay-Z and Beyonce do a concert there. LeBron came out. LeBron pretty much owns all of Ohio. And I'm like, <laughs> she's got Ohio. And then she lost Ohio. But when LeBron came out, I'm like, that's it. He, he said it. He has decreed Ohio goes to Hillary. And then when she lost Ohio, I'm like, I guess none of this matters. <laughs> it didn't work, though. Like, what, 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 how do you top that? Who's bigger than Beyonce and Jay-Z? and LeBron in Ohio. That's the Voltron <laughs> of black excellence. How do you top that? How do you not get Ohio then? I don't know. I, who has a bigger blue check mark to move the needle? So that to me was like one of the things where I'm like, I don't know, like this, is, this has certain resonance, but it's, it's not the, perhaps it's not the resonance that you need to collectively get an entire state on board to sort of flip a state. What are your thoughts on the Muslim dating app Minder? This is Minder versus Tinder. So this is from uh, Farah Wakani. Is Farah here? What are your thoughts on it? I don't have it. You don't have it? Yeah. So you're, you, you choose, you've opted out? I've heard it's weird, though, but I want to get married. Well, I'm married, so. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be super weird if I was like, I'm on this dating site, too, though. <laughs> I need hobbies. No. Um, what have you heard? What, have, what do you know? Well, it's for everyone in the country, so you can match with someone in like, California. Okay. Do you do apps or no apps? So why not that app? It's just bizarre. You'll like run into like cousins and stuff. Is that, is that, like, is that the word thing? Or you like run into people that your parents know or something? Is that like what? Oh, uh, okay. But why, why let me? Well, you might find love. How many guys on Minder do you think look like me? I bet it's like 50. You'll just like swipe, it'll all be like poofy haired. This guy will be on it, it'll be me, you know what I mean? It'll just be like varying degrees of beard. Uh, he has poofy hair, but no beard. It's like almost like Nintendo Wii characters. You're like, he's got less poofy hair. I mean, it makes sense there's Muslim Tinder. Do you know what I mean? Like Muslims only care about like two things. <laughs> like Palestine and getting married. Those are like... <laughs> if you were the moderator for the upcoming Democratic presidential debate, what is one question you would ask the candidates? Do you guys watch Patriot Act? <laughs> I mean, they'd all lie. Then I'd be like, what's your favorite episode? Then I would make Kamala Harris say something in Hindi. I gotta check the Indian hat. I gotta check it. All right, this is, you guys wanna know the serious question? What are you gonna do to make sure that the planet is livable when my daughter gets older? Like, that, that'll be the serious question. Did you see the trailer for Lady and the Tramp? And what do you think of Disney live action remakes? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys asked the hard hitting questions. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the live action remakes because the animals look too real. Like, when I, I went to go see Lion King. And I'm like, why is, why is that lion talking? That's weird. Because it, like, it looks like a lion. It doesn't look like a cartoon lion. It was weird. So then when I saw like, the parrot, when Zazu was talking, and it was John Oliver, I'm like, why is the parrot John Oliver? Like, it, it just freaked me out. Because I thought like Zazu would just start talking about Brexit to Simba. 
<laughs> the cool thing about the cartoons was you could see the emotions in the eyes. You could see like, you know, when Simba was scared or when Simba was happy, you could see it in their eyes. But like, this, their eyes were always the same. You know, because, yeah, it wasn't translating to me. What do you think of the live action, dude? Eddie, what do you think of the live action movies? I haven't seen any of them. No, with, you haven't seen any with the kids? My wife took my son, no, I <laughs> You pawned it off on your wife? <laughs> What's the last lie you told and why did you tell it? Oh. This is from Rebecca. All right, all right, I'm gonna be honest, all right? Last week, I told you guys that Eddie was my friend. <laughs> Would you be my friend outside of work? <laughs> no, you And it was a bit, and I did it for comedy, and I lied. And I lied. Eddie was my friend. Eddie was my friend. Eddie was my friend. And I lied. And I lied. And I lied. I would ask Eddie, our, our wonderful stage our, manager. Our wonderful stage manager. Would you be my friend outside of work? Would you be my friend and outside of work? And I lied. And I lied. And the truth is, Eddie's my best friend. <laughs> He's my best friend in the whole wide world, and no one can take away our friendship. standing in front of you and in front of this cameraman that's blocking our vantage point and I'm just here to ask you am I your best friend too Hands down. don't lie <laughs> do you think the country is shifting towards socialism because of capitalism failing um, that's a great question I don't think I can answer that but I just think that any system where you can get 15 different kinds of Pepsi but you can't get affordable health care is broken. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't have the answer. That's all I know. What was the last thing you Googled on your phone? <laughs> it's from Tiffany. Is, is Tiffany here? What'd you Google? Um, earlier what is a grommet? What is a grommet? Yeah. You Googled what is a grommet? <laughs> what, is, what is a grommet? How did you know what that term was? If you already know what a grommet is, don't you know what it is? Oh, people, people in conversation were talking about grommets? Your friends are really boring. You're like, grommet's like the hot thing everyone was talking about? I had to Google it. I, I, I wrote, we wrote down what the past four things that I, uh, I did. Okay, current time in Delhi. I, I, I was calling family. Uh, the second was, was insomnia. I thought I was like, I was up really late. I don't like, do I have insomnia? <laughs> you ever do that where you're like, something's wrong with me, and then Google tells you and you just freak out? Overton window, that was really interesting. Oh, and this one too. Is it possible to have more than tres leches cake? <laughs> like, can you have more than tres leches? <laughs> like, can you have just like ocho leches cake? <laughs> Or like Chad Ocho Cinco Leches Cake. Why, do, why stop at three? Give me four Leches, give me five. 